know if Vicky's going to make it or not? She wasn't, she wasn't sure she was going to. Okay. She said it was impossible not being able to be here. So then we will call uh, the uh, regular monthly. Did you just turn on things? Yep. Okay. So have I. Okay. We'll call the regular monthly meeting of the Peabody Public Library Board of Trustees to order for uh, October 11th. We will note that all of the trustees except uh, Nikki are present, so we have a quorum. I will uh, seek a motion regarding the minutes that have been previously distributed to the board members. Carmen makes a motion. Carmen moves to approve the minutes at uh, the September 13th meeting that was distributed. Is there a second? Spencer second. Spencer seconds. We move to second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor of approving the minutes of the September 13, 2023 meeting as distributed, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Minutes are passed. Pam, are you able to hear me? I can hear you some. Yeah. Well, I'm really hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm getting older. Okay. Okay. Um, and although it's not on the formal agenda, Carmen has asked me if she could share some, some information with the board under the discussion heading. So let's do that before I forget, Carmen. It's not that it, it's not that you're that much of a priority. It's just I will forget. You know, to, uh, <laughs> wow. Well, you took that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what a Thanks, Greg. Um, <laughs> okay, it is. <laughs> so I had the opportunity to take a listening tour of the library on Friday, and I'm not good at talking off the cuff. So I've had a couple days, obviously, to um, kind of collect my thoughts. And so this is what I have to say. To board members that haven't taken a, listen, a listening tour, I would implore you to please find time in your busy schedules to come and see the Peabody Public Library team. Our team here are the front lines of kindness in our society. Everyone is a ferocious multitasker, and the passion they have for our patrons is unparalleled. I started my tour with Madeline and Darla in circulation, cleaning materials, witnessing the shipping saga, and helping answer questions of patrons. I found that circulation is far more than cleaning and returning books to the shelves. It's some patrons' only face-to-face -face contact for their day. It's the one moment where a young mom can have time, can have the time that she needs, away from her young kids to print off some important documents. And that's just circulation. The adult department, I found out that Angie and I are actually cousins, and we have dedicated staff to circling, or to curating and delivering materials to shut-ins in our community, which I didn't, I didn't know. In the children's department, I helped Kathy put away the rolling card full of early, read early readers while she filled me in on some exciting program the library has in store. And then I met Beth and Becca for the first time. I could literally go on and on all day about the B squared dynamic duo. They are literally keeping the library running and teaching our community valuable tech principles. Like seriously, I could, I could go on and on. Um, my biggest takeaway is our library's value isn't in the books or the things or the technology. It's the staff. It's Darla's big smile. It's Madeline checking in on patrons. It's Angie's never ending list of Amish romances. It's Christy and Kathy's knee hugs that kids take with or without their permission. It's Beth's never-ending list of to-dos. It's Mike empowering the team to do what they do best. They are what makes this library great. So if you can find time to take a listening tour, highly, highly recommend. Thank you. No, thank you. The library staff is just incredible. Excellent. All right. With that, any questions for Mark? Carmen, thank you. That was, I, I'm glad I put that at the top of things. <laughs> that, frames, that frames our following discussions very well. So um, before we go into the regular uh, director's report, uh, there is uh, there are a couple of items that Mike has here. The uh, staff development proposal, um, that's the first paragraph, the first couple of paragraphs in the report that he had circulated. Um, and. Mike, is there anything else that you like that you wanted to add regarding the staff? I noticed that we were talking about uh, maybe closing for a half a day on Friday. Is that a uh, once a month, right? Uh, once a quarter. Once, once a quarter. 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 And quarter. Were, were you thinking Friday morning? Uh, Friday afternoon. Well, I was thinking Friday afternoon. Would you reopen for Friday evening? 
or would you be closed that whole half day? It would be closed up the whole half day. Okay. But but why, why the afternoon instead of the morning? Flip of the coin. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else that you wanted to add? No, I mean, the staff day went really well that we had, uh, like I outlined in the uh, my report, that we partnered with South, South Whitley and Chair Busco staff, so we had the same three uh, sessions in the morning as in the afternoon, and then that way none of us had to uh, close. Uh, downside of that is there's a lot of logistical things uh, that had to happen to make that, make that happen. Uh, not everyone at Chair Busco and uh, South Whitley were able to participate because of other events they had going on. They, they just, just the timing and stuff like that. So uh, the other, other part of this is the fact that while we have a social committee and we try to do social things to build a team, with the way we are and the staff that we have, it's almost impossible to do stuff when we're open. And so even when we have carry-ins or things like that, people bring their stuff, set it down, and they go back to work. And they'll come in and grab food. You know, so they can have a social event and not see anyone else at all. And so that's not really building the team that I really want to focus on. That's why I'm ask, asking for the half day, half day of uh, uh, take order to be able to all be in the same room. And not just our monthly meetings, but do something bigger because we'll have more time and, uh, and uh, some training, some fun things, that type of stuff. Uh, Friday, why did you select Friday? It, it's a slower day. Uh, the, uh, it's just traffic is it's not as, as busy. Uh, it's fairly laid back. We don't do the programs on Fridays. So it'll just be easier to have less impact on the community at large. Any questions? The uh, planned on once a quarter and all four would be evenings, not rotated like in the morning. I mean, we, we could do that. We could uh, uh, switch it up if it could, uh, just, yeah. well, The only reason I asked about the morning versus the afternoon is I, I was assuming Friday would be busier, but then again, I, I've always been a pretty pathetic individual, so I spent Friday nights at the library sometimes. So. I mean, Fridays are puzzle day. I mean, we have puzzles upstairs, and people just come in, they, they sit around and work on puzzles all day upstairs. But, so. And that, I mean, it's just our, our traffic is really just real slower. slower. Okay. Well, you're going to be, you, you and the staff are going to be doing something. Okay. Other questions or comments? In the absence of that, I would entertain if the member of the board is willing, I would entertain a motion regarding uh, the action item, which is a possible uh, author, authorizing the director to close. Uh, the library for a half a day each quarter for purposes of internal staff development. Would you like it for a half a day each quarter? Is or that, no, not just on Fridays? We, specific uh, Friday or just half a day I, I each would just quarter? say, do, do you care how that's phrased? I don't care. I think we should leave that open because if you wanted to do like a professional development <coughs> meeting and the trainer could only come on a Tuesday morning. Right. That was there. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to say. That's why they're just so yeah. that's, yeah. That's a motion, Spencer. Okay. Spencer <laughs> moves to authorize you to close uh, up to a half day every quarter for staff development. Um, is there a second? Second by Chris. Second by Chris. And further discussion, apparently the discussion is all of us are concerned that we try, we try to minimize the impact on patrons. And uh, other than that, we'll leave that to your discretion. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that is approved. Second item has to do with the salary schedule that has been proposed, which I have talked with Mike about. Um, it is overall an increase of 5%. That's not Quite, I, I think the I think the uh, inflation rate of the cost of living was more than that uh, last year. I'm not sure we're completely catching up with that, but that's a little bit. Um, and then there were uh, three, I think, positions where we had talked about adjusting a little farther than that. Mike, do you want to describe 
that? Sure. Uh, so there's uh, the way the salary is right now. Uh, there, there are some that are just hired on in this year that are making the same as those that have been here for four or five years, which it is what it is. And I like to reward those that have been here for a little longer. So there's two of those. Uh, so they're just a slight bump to make to reward them for being for longevity. Longevity. Uh, and the third one is uh, uh, our chef commander, Maddie. Uh, she uh, does a ton, but she is not pay pay scale on, on par with the other supervisors and the staff. So this would not per same level because she does not have a degree uh, and she doesn't have the licensing that the others do, but it would be her closer to represent the fact that she is supervising the largest uh, number of people uh, uh, department and is, has her hands in so much. So just to reward, plus she's been here for a while as well. So. Does she have any desire or intent? So she does have a uh, library, library certificate. Uh, because she was a PA before. So, but she doesn't have the education required for the uh, LC2 or three that the other part. So, and, and her position does not require it. This is the top. She Yeah. Any other questions on? instead of like a, a flat just dollar amount per increase because some of these aren't even a dollar at that five percent I was looking at I, I, I looked at just the, the, just the percentage of okay. percentage. if you want to give them more or they would love to <laughs> I was just, I was just asking, I was asking. Regarding the proposal for the director, uh, regarding the uh, sal uh, salary schedule, and you plan to start that, your, with the plan be to start that in January then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think we're ahead. We're, we're ahead of where we normally do. I think we normally do to start the high school. Okay. Carmen, do you move to adopt as proposed? I do. Okay. Carmen uh, moves to adopt the salary schedule proposal that has been made by the director. Is there a second? Mark seconds. Mark seconds. Uh, discussion. Um, would you have any like, next year moving forward of a, a minimum amount raise if we were going to do that or do you think percentages is easier to do? But First year time doing this, it was definitely easier to do it flat. Straight percentage. percentage. Okay. But I am I am all about rewarding our staff for the hard work that they do. So if we want to set a minimum what yeah, I also want to just make sure we retain Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I guess my, my key question. We, we know that this is less than possible. Does anybody have the exact numbers here or here? Can we Google it? <laughs> this year it's it's so far lower. You can Google it, but I think last I can say last year it was Six percent, something. Yeah. Yeah. So, as we mentioned, it's much more expensive to lose people than have to hire. Yeah, absolutely. I think five percent ordinarily is a big chunk uh, for just base level. Given the inflation requirement, though, we need to change that. So, I'm going to want to base it on the social security rates. I'm going to see over six percent. Money. 
that was my just in case. So, and, we, and the budgeted amount we don't have, right? I mean, that's correct. what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping yeah. to do when they do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah. 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 correct. Okay. Additional discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to adopt the, the director's uh, 2024 salary schedule is proposed, signified by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The salary schedule is adopted. Um, I, oh, okay. And then the February 2024 <coughs> board meeting calls on Ash Wednesday. I know uh, many folks sometimes will go to services that day earlier. But they, they have the do we is anybody here finding that problematic for them uh, in the evening before doing a six? Yes, I'm going to move it. Okay. Okay. Um, Mike, had you looked at the the Wednesday before, the Wednesday after? Do uh, are we thinking stick on a Wednesday? Does anybody care? Do we think I am flexible, so I'm going to just ask Scott to bump it to the Tuesday or the Thursday because it's, I have standing meeting obligations on the second Tuesday and the second. Thursday of every month. Oh, I love this week. I love this week. My other two are paying gigs. This one is not. Uh, we appreciate you being here, nonetheless. But but, uh, but yeah, it is the second and sometimes the fourth. So would could we go for the first Wednesday or the third Wednesday of that month? And first Wednesday works for me. I'm Wednesday last month. Okay. Is that February 7th is the first Wednesday? Yes, I don't know. Should, yeah, Probably. Historical Society, but I'm not even sure if we have one of the days. It's also the first Wednesday. I'm not here. Yeah. Okay. But it's simply. I'll be following you. Oh, gotcha. And chocolate. They're at 3.30. So that would be the 7th? Yes. Yeah. See everybody on Valentine's Day? I know. Oh, what did you you can still <laughs> some, some nice part. All right. So I would entertain a motion to move the February 2024 board meeting from the regular scheduled day to the first Wednesday, which would be February 7th at 6 o'clock p.m. 2024. Carmen make that motion. Carmen moves to do that. She wants to go for Ash Wednesday services. That's right. Second. Spencer seconds. Thank you, Spencer. It was going. It was going to get seconded. There was. <laughs> yeah. You just want to make there you sweat. There was a lot of us. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to check the high school swim schedule. Okay. Just to make sure that you know. Okay. Uh, Rick, did we accidentally skip over the building credits? Um, not on my copy of it. Maybe it's. Okay. It, Rearranged. I've got that director's report, and then I've got that that included under the director's report. It's on the first one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. But that's okay. That's and it may have been rearranged. This is the one I printed off of the email. I didn't do the one that was here, so those may have been slightly different. Oh, I'm looking at the one that was emailed to us. The, the agenda's done. Does Yeah, I, I'm just, the oh, agenda oh. says February 2024 board meeting, and then it says director's report building project update. Okay. So, anyway, any further discussion, Lori? Do you have a swim meet? We do not. All, All right. right. Hearing no further discussion, or Chris, did you have any no. comments? All in favor of moving the February 2024 regular board meeting from the second Tuesday to the first Tuesday, which would be February 7th, 2024 at 6 o'clock p.m., signify by saying aye. You uh, said Wednesday, or you said Tuesday. I did say Tuesday. I meant Wednesday. Got Wednesday. Yeah, I got Tuesday on the brain. <laughs> Wednesday, <laughs> October 7th. No, February 7th. You just said October 7th. <laughs> you got Craig really close. Okay. I'm sorry. Carmen, why don't you tell me the exact date? <laughs> no, I'm just bringing all these wrong things. So. Wednesday. The first Wednesday in 
February 2024, yeah. which would be Wednesday, February 7th. 2024 at 6 o'clock p.m. So moved. Well, it's been moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now we got. Thank you very much for catching that mic. And we will go into, at that point, the director. Before we do that, are we still borrowing? It's not on the one that you had earlier. It was on the one that you just Okay. It's on the one that we just got. Okay. Um, Mike, go ahead and tell us uh, about the reciprocal borrowing agreement. So, uh, the director up in Chair Bosco and I have talked on and off since I started about uh, potential of us uh, having an agreement with them to uh, share each other's patrons be able to share each other's uh, library services. Uh, they are not part of Evergreen uh, like South Whitley is, so it makes it really hard for them to use other libraries. Uh, so this would just, it, it's also cost prohibitive to them to become part of Evergreen. Uh, also, their uh, ILS is the same as this, what the school uses, so it makes it a really easy transition for the students to use both the school library and the public library. So there's other reasons that they're not doing it at this time uh, to make them the jump over to that. But entering into this agreement would allow us to, uh, us to serve uh, more of the county Would they, since we use Evergreen, does that mean that South Whitley would be able to use Evergreen through us? So if they wanted so, something that so, we could... Sheriff Bosco. South Whitley is Evergreen. Yes, that's what I meant. So they would be able to use everything we have in-house. Okay. I think, I, I, we're still double checking, but I'm pretty sure there's a restriction from uh, Evergreen that they would not be able to get tolls from other libraries. Okay. So they would have to be, they would get access to our materials and our resources but not South Whitley's yeah. or Marion's or... Do they have any other reciprocal agreements in the other libraries? Not that I'm aware of. And this actually, uh, South Whitley and North uh, Manchester just did a similar thing. Just did a similar thing. Because North Manchester is not ever been So, from a... Just technically, their library or our cars, or we have to issue They would get a... a it's already it's already in the system. It, it, we have green cards that get everything. The cards that, and we would not uh, make everything available until the last ones. Last ones are still really big commodity here. Would materials borrowed here have to be returned here, or would we have to have a courier? Uh, the couriers are already set up. They, they use sent couriers to us, so they can still do that. It would make it easier to return to the same library. Okay, but, but that's not that's necessarily not so. Necessarily something required. could be borrowed. I could borrow something in Cherubusco then, yeah. and then return it to you. Yes. So we do interlibrary loans now, yes? Yes. They were just doing this step so they could come here and get it themselves instead of yeah. us couriering it to yeah. them. Yeah, we have a, they're part of the same courage to still have that other yeah, libraries I know that Chair Vesco has wanted to be able to serve more through their library for a long time and um, I think this is a I don't know that offhand either. Because are they are their patrons going to be fined for our materials even though we're fine free? No, they would not. Do, they would not accrue any fines on us. Okay. But we are we would be responsible for reclaiming those materials. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So just like anyone else, they lost it. And I'm looking at the agreement that has been proposed, and it is an open-ended term that can be um, 
terminated, it looks like, by either party with 90-day notice. Is that what's intended? Yeah. Okay, without yeah. cause, necessarily. Yeah. And that, that is a template that the state has for this type of agreement that I may utilize. Um, is uh, any trustee willing to uh, offer a motion regarding this? Seconded. Is there further discussion? Chris? I heard, I heard it. Yes. yes. I, <laughs> we've, we've discussed and had discussions before about um, helping them out, but to do that, they would have, there were other things that would have had to occur tax rates and things. Um, I'm, I'm for it. Paper. As a treasurer, I'm a little apprehensive. Because of the materials, or why? Why, why are you apprehensive? Um, we offer services to every WCCS student, whether or not they live in the service district. So, just funds coming in. I mean, those because those people and those families get to use the library. It's no different, and I shouldn't think of it as different, but for some reason I do. I mean, I, I am apprehensive as well, for a couple of reasons, but one of them being that our library is funded by our rate of our taxpayers, and we have a wonderful thing for the library.
just for your information that uh, there is a large project that's on its way in Cherubusco to take the old Cherubusco State Bank building, which you know where that's located, um, and convert that to a community center in the basement. And the main part is what they anticipate to be their new library. Um, so that is, that is right now, the, the community foundation is participating in that. That is a project that is, 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 is headed. So their library will be much higher profile than it is now. It's now we actually have to turn and it's kind of off on the yep. side street. It's going to be higher kind of profile. So we will see, hopefully this can push things. Plus, as an attorney, it's got a 90 day out clause. So yep. if, if I this is- like it. I like it as a first step to getting us a countywide yeah. library. If this is, ab yeah. Yeah. If this is absolutely- I'm right there with you, Chris. I think that, that this is what we need to do to build goodwill and get more yeah. people in the board of libraries. I mean, if I Increase the tax base, we'll work that. Let's see what happens. Uh, then there is still a motion on the floor, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and a second. And second, yep. Yeah. Um, right. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And I will show myself as abstaining, but consistent with the. Madam Chairman, that you excise the document. Motion, I will go ahead and sign <laughs> the document, though. <laughs> Right. We forced him to. We forced him to. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Well, still, we, all, we all agree. Still, so. uh, still chairing the AK. Okay. And I'm hoping that we are now the director's report. Yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am, and, and by the way, thank you. Uh, with those of us who got these materials electronically, um, I, I, I was going to miss my paper agenda because I was. And you obviously realize that you made agendas, so I appreciate that. And uh, I won't have to make a second one next time. And I wasn't here last month to do the opt out, so you can opt me out and have it to mail this. And did anybody else want to opt out? I was trying to think. No, not. Okay. I like the building. Okay. I do like. Oh, don't worry. It's awesome. I got mine early. I was able to read it before, like, my ever was before. I was reading mine in advance on Saturday night at 3 in the morning. Is that a river? Actually, yes. That sounds terrible. Don't advertise that. <laughs> I assume that was an old Chris Farley reference. Yes, it's right. Okay, yes. thank you. I, it was an actually. Yeah. Okay. Mike, why don't you go ahead? All right, so building projects are moving along, drinking fountains are in and working. Um, we, everything's done, we need to, to do the touch up painting around it. Uh, they had to replace some drywall and stuff. So uh, there, and uh, they came in right on budget, uh, which is the last few months was projected uh, in the MPM projections. So that's good. Uh, gutters are quoted, and uh, we accepted one of the offers. Uh, one of the bids, and uh, they were getting chills in the hand. So next week or so, uh, they should be out there to start placing the gutters. Oh, they're just in the building. Whole building, and we're doing uh, relief guards in the front. Okay. Uh, so they actually came in. They, they were the best price, and they included the uh, leaf guards, the leaf guards. So, uh, and the final project that I have been uh, working on right now on is the LED upgrade. Uh, it's been uh, quoted and accepted and they're just getting all the materials in and once they get all the materials needed in, uh, they will uh, be able to come out and place all the LEDs on the first floor. Congratulations, it's so exciting. Any questions about the building project update? Could we talk about the return on we need the parking lot so the usage went down so no, I would love using less electricity. And this is totally unrelated. I just noticed, would you do me a favor and keep an eye on the parking area out behind here to make sure the equipment that INN is running through here is not damaging our asphalt? Okay. I noticed that when I pulled in and I, and I saw these boards for all this stuff and I saw trucks pulling yeah. up on them and I was like, 
okay, I, this this will work for a little bit if this is temporary and it's just trucks, but I see some awful heavy stuff going back. I think they paid us yeah. more for damage. And they, and they did pay us money to use the, that area. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, I will keep an eye on this. Well, yeah, yes, because I'm assuming that's different than actually damaging yeah. the asphalt. And it doesn't look like there's any problem right now, but yeah, I, I, I saw this stuff. Continue, sorry about that. No, you're fine. Uh, the other one I wanted to point, uh, let you guys in on is the Aspen Discovery. So, with Evergreen in Indiana, they have entered into an agreement uh, for a new Discoveries layer for our catalog. So, what that is, and that's very library speak. Uh, yes, it is. This translate that. <laughs> this, this, this will sit on top of our catalog, our online catalog. And so you enter a search in this one box, and it'll look at all of our resources. So not just a catalog, but our bit, that is databases. It'll, it'll look out to OverDrive and um, Hoopla and those type of things. So it'll look at multiple places. Wow. So it's okay. putting those into one discovery layer. It's already doing that, right? So, right, for like uh, OverDrive stuff and Lucky stuff, we have to actually add that into the catalog to show up manually. For Evergreen? For Evergreen. Yeah. Now, we don't have to manually add, add that. It'll automatically look out to the, to the software. It'll, it'll, it'll put in your search, search of dogs, and you'll have some books in-house. You'll have some uh, Libby books. You'll have uh, uh, that database searches, you know, in Britannica online uh, that we have a resource to really have. A, so it'll all be in one discovery layer. And you can still sort, sort that on there. Yeah, you'll be able to, it'll be just on the internet. So, uh, and this comes with our, there's no extra cost for us. And, and you can still sort it like you can in the current sources yep. where if you just want to see yep. CDs yep. or DVDs yep. or whatever. Or books. Okay. And wow. uh, it will, it's in the, they just signed the agreement. They're doing the initial lift to get things set up. So it is still a long lead before we're uh, ready to go live with it. But I want to be like, you know, that is. Will it look different to the user? Yes. Will they notice the difference? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll look different. It'll feel different. It'll feel better. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the standard Evergreen interface that, that we log into yeah. when we log in and do the search. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions with other report things that were reported on the department? Services. Okay, sorry. Um, this is our, our uh, circulation page. Yeah. It's yeah, that's a list of anyone of anyone else. So prior to our current professional staff, we had a professional staff that held on to everything. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that uh, in, in principle other than the fact that you run out of space. So when uh, Katie came on, and now with Joe, there's been a large weeding process where we're going through books that circulate for a long time. So as we make, get rid of things that aren't circulating or haven't circulated for a long time, we're in bad condition. We make room, we, we then are able to uh, make room for new stuff. So that number should be coming down sooner rather than later as we work through these books. Have you been constricted from getting new stuff in this space, or are just filling up? Just, just filling, filling up, and, and we, there was no restriction, but it just, you know, when you have, you know, a foot of space on a shelf, and you know, you're more selective of what you're buying. Sure. That's, that's, yeah. And those books end up at the friend sale. Yep. But yeah, as we get out for those things that haven't circulated for, you know, years and years and years, that will then bring up our, I'm acting for our age. This is a general rule when the department heads are doing these things. If they if they use an acronym or an abbreviation, 
if they can tell us what it is, yep. that would be helpful. Could you tell me what the, and maybe it was referenced, and I just missed it. Um, they, they actually broke down DIY, and I could get that one. <laughs> but I, I don't know what N-I-C-C-L is. So, Nicole, is how they pronounced it, <laughs> is Northern Indiana Consortium of Computer Consortium of Libraries, something along those lines. Basically, it's a, it, it's a consortium of libraries, computer, talking about technology. She shares that uh, that committee and uh, they make the presentations. They bring in vendors to talk about uh, different projects. Uh, in the past, there have been uh, some benefit of you know buying it in, in, in blocks, so we can the price. That's kind of gone away. Uh, vendors aren't really as responsive to that as they had in the past, but it's still a great place for them to uh, interact with each other and bounce some ideas. And are you having problems with Beth did speak to me a little bit about this when I was on my listening tour, and um, it sounds more like a group of professionals in the similar field sharing ideas, yeah. problem solving together <coughs> across Indiana. It's really neat. Assuming that that's not the whole story, Teresa Rust. Uh, because I, I obviously picked the wrong career path. <laughs> <laughs> there was several hours she did, and they, there were multiple people, uh, and they did face painting and other things. I don't remember what the other things were, but there was more than just face painting. Okay. Was that for first Friday? No, it was for. Oh, it's for this weekend. Oh, yeah, it's for this coming weekend. It's the fall festival. Okay. So, that, right. so they, they were doing a couple of things for us. Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a long event. So, face painting was a shorthand of all yeah. the stuff that. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. 
anybody else have anything regarding any either the financials or anything else? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, claims. Chris makes a motion to approve the claims. This moves to approve the claims is presented. Is there a second? Mark second. Mark seconds. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the claims as presented, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Claims are approved. Is there any other business to come before the Board of Trustees? Hearing none, I will entertain the motion since I got some flack for just calling things off last time. I would entertain an appropriate motion. Carmen will motion to adjourn. Carmen moves to adjourn. Is there a second? Or seconds. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Anybody want to partake in a pizza eating challenge this weekend? A pizza? No. no. Did you, were you able to hear better? I, a little bit. Okay. I, 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 I got to go.